Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is actually gonna walk you through a filing an amendment. I recorded this video a few weeks ago and TurboTax didn't actually have their system up and running. And so I just showed you around the website. This time I'm actually gonna walk you through filing an amendment. So stay tuned if you need to make any changes and let's go. And as always, I forget, like and subscribe. Hello, hello everyone. I am finally back. I have been super busy, but I wanted to show you guys a step-by-step -step walkthrough for amending your return. I know I've gotten a lot of questions, a lot of feedback about this, and I think a lot of people have actually already done this on their own once TurboTax set it out there. I want to say it was early on March, and for some people they were saying it was even at the end of February. So super, super excited to be doing this. You're going to log into TurboTax, which I already have, and this is my personal one, so I've got some things blocked out for you if you're confused, um, just because it's my personal info. But you're going to scroll down, make sure you've got the right year that you want to amend, and then you're going to hit um, amend and change return, which is this top one. And the main reason you'd be doing this is if you forgot something, let's say that one of the companies you totally forgot about, you had an account with, and they sent you a piece of paper, and you're like, oh, shoot, I forgot to put this in or you maybe type something in wrong and you didn't catch it until later on. And some of you might not even have known that you needed to do something until you got maybe a document from the IRS. I know I've had a couple of people say, hey, I got this document from the IRS and they said that I messed up and I did this and this incorrectly. And so this is where you're gonna amend or change your return. And again, it's the first one right here. You're gonna click on that. Amending is for adding new tax forms or making changes, just like we said, to your original tax uh, filed tax return. So you're going to say amend using tax, uh, TurboTax online. Good old TurboTax and buffer. Okay, so they're just asking you, why are you amending? TurboTax sent you an email. You got a notice like I was talking about. You need to update the tax form or you're changing something else or none of these reply if you're confused and maybe there's another reason. Um, like it says here, they can help you figure out why you're amending as well. And so for the majority of people that have reached out, they've said that they forgot to add cryptocurrency or they forgot to add a W-2. So I'm going to say adding or updating a tax form. So this is what I was saying. Most people who've asked me, um, do I need to file an amendment have said, I forgot a W-2 or I stuck them all together when I had seven and you have to file those separately. Like I've said to a few people, um, you've maybe got student loan interest, any one of these forms that came in late, or if your form isn't listed here, you can click that too. And then cryptocurrency and cryptocurrency is going to come from a form 1099, most likely 1099. And they're going to have that section um, on your main page, a couple sections below the W-2, it'll say stocks, cryptocurrency, mutual funds, bonds, or other, and that's where you're going to add it. But we're going to start with the W-2 since that was the most common reason why people reached out to amend their returns. And so it's just saying that we're going to amend your federal return and they're changing everything on the monitor to zero just to show the difference between the two returns that you've done, the one you already filed and the one you're filing now. Okay, so I have blocked mine out, but everything that is on this screen, is gonna be all of your W-2s, all the money that you made. And there's gonna be an add a W-2 for you or your spouse. And there, if it's just you, it'll just be one box. For us, because there's two of us, there's two boxes. But if, let's say you had, I know one person had like seven W-2s. Let's say I had seven and I had only added one or two up here. I would go add a W-2 and then literally it's like the beginning when you first hit it, you just add, put in all the information from that W-2, you add it and you hit continue, and then you can file, and that's it for W-2s. I'm going to go back in case anyone else didn't need the W-2 and they're looking for a different form. I'm going to quickly walk through that just so they know where to find it, but that's for W-2s. I want to say that was the big reason a lot of people are amending their returns, but again, add it for yourself, and it literally is the same thing that you did in the beginning. You're just adding extras, and remember... If you had five, you don't combine all the amounts. Even if they're with the same company, you have to do them separately, one for each company, one for each W-2 that you got. I'm gonna hit continue. 
are there any other areas of your return that you want to amend? I'm going to say yes, just for this example. So if you don't want to scroll through the whole list and find where you need to add your stuff, the easiest way, and I keep reminding everyone, is to just go up to TurboTax's search bar, which is right up in this corner, and just hit search. And we're going to just look for whatever it is. Like I said, the second one, second big thing was cryptocurrency that people forgot. So I'm just going to type in cryptocurrency. And just jump to cryptocurrency. So we're going to jump to cryptocurrency. And if you scroll down, it'll say stocks, cryptocurrency, mutual funds, bonds, other. You're going to hit start. And then you will add more sales. So if you do have it, it's going to be this second one here. You're going to click this one and you're going to hit continue. And they're going to ask you these questions. Was it transferred between exchange or wallets? Yes or no. I'm just going to hit yes. Did you buy or sell an NFT? And if you want to know how all of that's taxed, you can click on this. If this is all confusing you, just um, I'll leave some info about it down below. But generally, if you're selling cryptocurrency, you're going to know the answers to these questions. So if you're confused right now and you didn't sell cryptocurrency, just skip ahead to the end. Um, but this is for anyone who did cryptocurrency. I'm going to say no, I did not. Did you use a tax service to combine your sales? I'm going to say no, and then just hit continue. So you may have some missing cost bases, and it's going to say all of these things here. You're going to read through it, so just say got it. And so you can use a tax service at no additional cost, or you can find it manually later. If you do this, they're going to show you that you can use something like Coin Tracker, which is probably a company that they're with, partnered with and they make money from, or you try another way. I'm going to hit back. Let's say we're going to skip this section if you don't want to do that right now and figure it out later. Hit continue. And then they're saying, hey, we can pull it directly from whatever institution gave you that form and impress you. This is where you can actually look up wherever you got it. So if you, it's, they're going to have the most common ones up here. You can do show more and look through this list or you can search it and then they're gonna use your sign in info to just pull it straight from that website. If you used a website that doesn't have it, that they don't have on here, or you don't wanna do that, you wanna manually type it in, you can click try another way. You can import it from the exchange or, or upload it from your computer, or you can type it in yourself just like a W2 or any other form. So you're gonna, let's say, type it in myself, and it's just gonna list everything that's on the form you have in front of you that was mailed to you or that you downloaded, and you're just gonna keep going through that. And when you're done, you're gonna hit save. It's gonna show you the full TurboTax review of everything that you have updated, just like in the beginning, a summary, and then you're gonna file it. Okay, so the last little bits of information, if you don't need, they're just little tips and tricks, you can skip ahead to the end, or if you have time, you can listen to these things. It's great information for you to have. First off, you need to know that an amendment, it's processed completely on its own. So let's say you did your first one and you got $500, you, but you know you forgot a W-2 and now you're done with your amended one and you owe $600. Let's say you didn't get that $500 yet, but you owe the 600. So at this point in time, you're going to need to pay that $600, even though you haven't gotten that 500 yet. When you get the 500, you can keep that 500 as long as you've already paid the 600 that's owed. I know people are like, can I just pay the difference? Can I just pay the 100? Unfortunately not. The IRS is going to be tracking if you've paid that 600 and they're not going to even it out between the two of them. And that's just the way it is. That's just how they do it. It's just one transaction and then another. It's how they keep everything straight and simple instead of trying to combine everything. Even though for us, we think it's easier to combine it. If you owe money this time and you got money last time, you still have to pay that amount, not the difference. Um, so if you have already received a refund and you know you're going to be amending it, I would not spend that money. I would tuck that money away save it in case you need to send money in to the IRS. Okay, number two, if you originally filed your return on paper, you have to do your amendment on paper as well. You can't switch it up between the two of them. You have to use, um, if, if you did it on paper, you have to use that same method. Number three, the deadline for amended returns is three years after the date that you filed your original return or within two years after you paid that tax 
whichever one is later. And the thing is, and I'll leave the link down below. Yes, you have all that time. Um, I wouldn't recommend waiting all that time. The reason they give you that much time is in case you didn't realize you made that mistake and want to go back and fix it. A lot of times people are not just going to wait because they don't want to have to pay something. I would not do that if I were you. If you know you made a mistake, I would fix it right away. But again, you have up to three years after you filed it to make that change and then resend it in for that year. For as of right now, the only ones that you can, or the only years you can electronically amend at this time are 2019, 2020, and 21, 2021. And the rest of them have to be uh, amended on paper. That's just the way it is with the IRS. Lastly, a lot of people were coming back and saying, I'm not able to get a direct deposit for the amended return. Let's say you got money. Unfortunately, the IRS is not allowing this. They will send you a paper check if you are getting more money back on the second time around. Let's say the first time you owed money, you forgot something, you put it in, and now you believe you're going to get money. Unfortunately, you can't get that amended tax return refund through direct deposit. You're going to be getting it via check. That's just the way the IRS has done it and the way they're still doing it right now in 2022 for 2021. I said lastly, but there is one more thing that I wanted to talk about, and that's amending a state return. And if you have a state return that you want to amend, you actually have to go through the whole federal return, um, which will take you to the state return as well, and then amend all of that. Because you have to keep in mind that your state information ties into your federal information as well. And so all of it goes together. So you're going to fill out the 1040X, which is this whole process to amend your federal return. And then... At the end, it's going to give you information about, hey, this is the state that you're in. If you need to amend, send an amendment to the state, follow these instructions. Every state is going to be different. You may or may not be able to do it online. I know I've seen a couple of people complaining that they weren't able to do it online. And it's just state by state um, variations and on a state by state basis. Because we all live in different states, you have to abide by the rules of your state. So look up your state website. TurboTax might have some direction for you as well. But you're going to want to make sure that you not only refile that federal refund, but also make sure you follow all the steps you need to for whatever state that you live in. Okay, so if you're hitting this point, that means you've already listened to me babble about all the tips and tricks, or you skip to this point because you don't want to hear it, and that's totally fine. Give this video a big thumbs up if it was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned to all the other videos I'm going to be pushing out. TurboTax was a big season in my channel this year, but I'm also going to be touching on some other things in finance and personal life. So stay tuned for all that good stuff. I will see you in the next video. If you have any suggestions as well, send me an email or you can comment down below with that video idea or in any of my videos really with an idea. I will see you in the next video.